about moving across the hall, Michael? I know what I think. Well, Mommy, go. <laughs> I'd rather have you and your mommy move back in here. I think we're a pretty good family. What do you think? Huh? Who's that? I don't know. Tess? Yeah. I know your mama was uh, loud sometimes, and, you know, sometimes she was messy, and she put herself where she doesn't belong. But you know what I think, buddy? I think that we fit together pretty good. What? Yeah. Miss Davis. Oh. Yeah, keep playing with that. Hi. This is something you don't see every day. Letitia? Michael, you remember Miss Davis? Hey. He, he, Michael's visiting for a few hours. You know. yeah. Do me a favor. We, we got we to gotta work some business here. Uh, can you entertain him for a few hours? Sure. Come on, Mike. Let's go check out lunch. You bring take, your, take your boat. Take your boat. with you. See you, buddy. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Uh, yeah. So I have your contracts here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We made the adjustments that we asked for, all and right. they signed off. So all you have to do is sign. Got a pen? I do. Okay. Thank you. Sorry that the turnaround took a day. At some point, I'm going to have to break down and move out of the hotel suite. What do you mean? I I'm just spoiled having lived in Jax's penthouse because of the library that I used as an office. So after dinner, I would be able to just go off and do my work in the hotel. Well, at the hotel, it doesn't really accommodate that. All right. You don't happen to know any realtors, do you? Uh, actually, I do. But I, I may have something else uh, in mind. It's the hall. You said you're looking for a, a place with room for an office. I have a penthouse available. I don't want to rent it to somebody I don't trust, and I trust you, you know, most of the time. That's a solution. Jason's place. Well, would you at least look at it? Sonny, hmm. I don't even want to be your attorney. Right, right. Being your neighbor doesn't seem like the next logical step. Okay, you know what? It's your call, but you're, you're passing up an amazing deal on a great place. Would it hurt you to check it out? I haven't made up my mind. Okay, fine. Ah. I'll look at it. Right. Because it'll be a basis of comparison when right. I look at other ones. Okay. But I know there's a catch. You hear? It really is great. Yeah. I mean, I really is great. I'm just trying to figure out what your angle is because that place has been vacant for months. So why all of a sudden are you trying to lease it out now? Because you mentioned today you're looking for a place. <laughs> oh, Michael's what? asking to see you. Uh, he had a great nap in his old room. So much nicer than his room guy. at Jason's. Yeah. It's too much afternoon sunlight over there. Yeah. Maybe you can mention to Carly that when you're explaining that it would be better to move in here instead of across the hall. Well, that's not going to be necessary. I'll take him. I'll take him. Come over here. Uncle Sonny. Uncle Sonny. Uncle Sonny. You want me to move into the same place that Carly wants? But Carly's going to move in here. She's not going to give you any trouble. Not me. You. Really? Hell hath no fury like C-A-R-L-Y when she doesn't get her own way. Do you want the apartment or not? Why not? When do you want to move in? I'm going to live to regret this, aren't I? Why do you even say that? I'm a great neighbor. I, I'm, I'm quiet. I don't play loud music. I'm a member of the Neighborhood Watch. And now you don't have to go check out a bunch of other places. Just figure out that this is the best one. But you know what? If you don't want it, I got a no, ton of other... No, no. Okay. I want it. I think. Yeah. See how easy that was, Michael? You want someone to do what you want them to do, all you got to do is convince them. It's the best thing for them. And if that doesn't work, you take away all their other options. Guess what I got for you here? A half plane. There you go. 
Is that a jet? Yeah. What's that? That's a, a black jet.